Hi hey everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to cover 25 critical trading tips for achieving success with the Profit Retriever. So what can you expect from this video? If you follow all the trading guidance that I provide in this video, you will have a good chance of achieving success rates of 80 to 90% when using the Profit Retriever. Now I am achieving success rates well into the 90 and my objective with this video is to give you all the information you need to achieve the same results. So here are the 25 areas that we're going to be covering and I'm going to cover them very quickly now just to give you an overview of what you can expect in this video. We, I'm going to cover the robot functionality, the marketing page of the robot, the video playlist that we have, 40 videos, user manuals that you can use, technical support given, then I'm going to recommend trading instruments, we're going to look at account sizing, we're going to look at leverage, we're going to be looking at the decreasing lot strategy, we're going to be looking at the increasing lot strategy, we're going to be looking at the need to start with the smallest lot sizing and with the biggest gap sizing. We're also going to be looking at portfolios, we're going to discuss manual intervention. We're going to look at the drawdown expectations. And then we are going to look at some combined strategies. Then currency types play a big role in the success. We're going to cover that. Spreads play a big role. And we're going to look at demo trading the profit retriever, how you can do that. Then we're going to look at the need to know all settings and how you can experiment with other strategies with the Profit Retriever. I'm going to show you a few linked account strategies. Linked accounts are producing amazing results and we actually do publish some of those strategies. We're going to look at what the most important settings are for the Profit Retriever. We're going to be looking at optimized settings that we provide for free and in our paid forum. And we're going to be looking at the paid forum for information about the Profit Retriever. So it's quite an extensive video we're looking at here. I have no idea how long this video will last, but we're going to be going through those points one by one. So let's start with the robot functionality. Now on your screen you can see an illustration of how the robot works, and I'll work through that illustration with you systematically. Essentially what happens is you, at the start we use a moving average to determine the direction of the trade and that is a pretty random one you can set the moving average to any setting you want it doesn't really matter in the long run which direction but let's say you start with a buy transaction now the profit retriever works in a flexible grid in other words as you can see there are four grid lines there the start is the second one and it will move from grid line to grid line to grid line and at that grid line that's when transactions take place. So we're at the start, that's the first grid line, and let's say we were fortunate enough to get the direction right and the price moved from the first from the starting grid line to the next grid line. At that point the robot will cache the successful buy in and then it will start looking for the direction for the next trade. But essentially on this illustration I just want to show you the logic behind the trading. So successful transactions will be cashed in and then the same decision making will apply as did for the start transaction. In other words, is the moving average pointing up or pointing down and I will uh, and it will trade accordingly. You can also reverse that direction. Now let's say let's take the case where you weren't successful with the direction so instead of the price going up it actually went down to the next grid line. So here's the point of this whole EA, is at that point you will open another buy. Because you're, now, you're still trading in the direction of buy, but you just open another buy. And that buy can be opened with a different lot sizing than you used for your initial transaction. So that's the one point that you need to be aware of. Also, 
the grid sizing, the gaps between these lines can be varied on an ongoing basis. So for instance, you could start having a, a gap of say 30 and you can either increase or decrease that gap as you're going along. So there's a lot of variation in the system. And let's say again, the price went down even further. So what you would do is you'd open a third buy and you would continue doing that and you the lot sizing would depend on the strategy that you're using but it's eventually the price will make a, a, a small recovery and and in most cases when it makes that recovery it reaches a stage where all of the transactions the all three the buy transactions or all the many transactions that you've opened up to that point will be profitable and it will then close the trade. So that's how the profit retriever works. And that is the concept of profit retrieving. It will continue entering buys until the total of all the transactions equal a profit. And that's where the name comes from, profit retriever. So the main variations in the system are the gap size, how big is the size between those lines that I've drawn on there. And that would be, depend on the volatility of a currency uh, and uh, the safety level that you want to build into the trading. Also the direction, the direction is the least important item because one of the things that this profit retriever is, and the heading actually stated, it is a random market system. And in other words, it doesn't care which way the pro pro price moves. If it moves up or down, it will just trade according to the rules seen on this chart. So direction is something you, you don't really need to worry about. And then lot sizing is what makes this system work so well. You can either decrease the lot sizing or increase the lot sizing or do both. You can decrease and increase or increase and decrease a lot sizing. So, so there's a lot of flexibility there and there's also flexibility in the gap sizing. So you can see it's a very flexible system. But what I've tried to explain now is the basic l trading logic that the profit retriever uses. Now the first thing that you would see is that you'd say, but Alex, what if th this goes down and down and down and down and just keeps on trending down what do I what am I going to do now the rest of this video basically is about managing the risk of what you would do if that continues to happen but as you will see from our linked accounts that risk is highly reduced if you apply what I'm going to be showing you in this video so hopefully you've got, got an idea of the robot f functionality. Uh, I will show you some more information where you get more information on that. And uh, let's move to point two, which is the marketing page. Now you would have most probably got to the marketing page from going to our main page, expertforex.com and clicking on the profit retriever. And there we are. There's the profit retriever page. It says you can trade it for as little as hundred dollars in your account and it makes profit no matter which way the price moves. One of the things about our marketing pages is that we try to build in as much training and information into these marketing pages and that is why the second recommendation in this list of recommendations is go and read the marketing page thoroughly from top to bottom because most of the education and training is built into this particular page so let's go and have a look at this page okay so so as we move down you can see that the settings are shown in quite a lot of detail you can have a, have a look at what kind of settings this ea uses and you can see a, a discussion of the various strategies that can be used so again familiarize yourself with those elements then there is a, a video that describes the flexible lot siding strategies that I've mentioned before. There is the um, lots, lot sizing and reverse martingale discussions that go in in that video and then the then this video shows the actual EA trading. Again go and watch it because it will explain the logic a little bit more. The more you can see the logic playing out the better and then it has a video about the one cent accounts which are quite critical for uh, you if you don't have the required minimum account balance of $10,000 to trade the 
profit retriever. If you don't, a hundred dollar invested in a cent account is the same as ten thousand dollars. Then there's a, a video on uh, the profit retriever concepts, and again, I'm I'm stressing that the training happens on the marketing page. And then this was a video that we did for traders to test the uh, the profit retriever during the beta phase. I must actually take that one out. It is no longer. Uh, applicable. Then we mentioned the owners forum which is in our paid premium forum. Uh, you can go and have a look at details about that and then we can you can go and have a look at the examples of uh, results achieved by the profit retriever. The, the, the results are, are most is are best shown in our linking account service which I'll show you later on but here you can see some great strategies playing out then we talk about support which is mainly given by uh, expert forex uh, they are by far the best company to supply absolutely world-class support and then there's information on how to get the best from your profit retriever in general this particular one i go into a lot more detail than that that particular video but it is good to go and watch that video and then we've got some owners feedback and how you can purchase the uh, ea so there's a lot of information on the marketing page i find a lot of people purchase the profit retriever without reading the information and that puts them at a huge disadvantage so number one is go to the marketing page read all the information and watch the videos supplied okay so now we move on to point three in our list which is the video playlist now so on your screen you can see a youtube playlist that groups all the profit retriever videos into one playlist and you can see there are 39 videos that you can go and watch there some are marketing oriented some are educationally oriented some give you more information about sent files there's a whole lot of golden information videos in this particular playlist so please go and visit that have a look at the videos that that you find interesting you don't have to watch them all there's so many of them but there might be videos that help you there are videos that actually show you the strategies used how and the variations of the strategies very important if you want to be successful at this particular EA. by the way a link to anything mentioned in this particular video will be in the description of the video as well as in the first commentary of the video <laughs> Okay, we're making good progress. We're now on to point four, which is user manuals. Now, the Profit Retriever is downloaded from the EA Factory website. And on your screen, you can see the EA Factory website. And here is the download section, along with a section where you can actually purchase extra licenses if you need them. Now, in the download section, if you click on I agree to the terms, you will see here is the EA that you can download. It is a setup program and it allows you to set the EA up on as many charts and platforms as you like. The licensing rules allow you to use it as often as you like, as long as you do not use them on more than two computers at the same time. So if you want to move to a third computer, you just cancel all of the ones on the first one and you load them onto the third third computer. So it's very flexible rule. And as you can see, you can download the setup file, but you can also download the user manual. Now the user manual explains everything about the profit retriever as well as how to install it into a VPS or into, onto a uh, Apple computer and all those things. So it's a comprehensive document that will help you and teach you how to use the settings of the EA. Lots of users never ever look at the user manual and then they ask explanations about what does the setting do in the forums and things like that and clearly they haven't accessed all this fantastic information that we've provided. So besides loading the setup file, remember to download the user manual. And here is the user manual. It's a huge document, 142 pages, but don't worry, it also has a fantastic index. So you can just go to the index, find the information that you need and click on that on the index and it'll take you to the place in the user manual 
that will solve your problem or tell you more about a particular setting. So a very comprehensive document. As you can see, we've got video playlists, we've got comprehensive user manuals, and we have the marketing page that will really provide you with all the information you need about this robot. Okay, so now we come to technical support. Another area that's a little bit gray with many purchases. They approach expert Forex for technical support, and that is not how it works. The technical support is done by a separate business called called the EA factory and you can get details of that support in the email that you receive after your purchase and as I've shown you before in the marketing page uh, in the support section if ever you hit a snag or an error message that doesn't make sense just contact EA factory when you do hit an error message there are a few things that you need to do firstly look for the error message in the user manual secondly read the error message many cases the error is identified and the solution is identified it might say you're missing this bit of history do this to get that piece of history so it actually gives you the instruction on how to uh, resolve the error and many times if you just go into the setting properties and click OK the error message will go away so there's lots of ways of resolving the error messages before you approach EA factory but when you do approach them please provide them with as much information as you can to enable them to give the, you the very best service that you deserve so give them pictures tell them what uh, explain the problem properly and they will resolve your problems in an instant now we are on to a number six trading instruments now remember you have just purchased the profit retriever there are instruments that are very complicated to trade and there are instruments that are not that complicated to trade i personally only trade forex crosses indexes metals and crypto are complicated instruments because every single broker has a different name for these things different margins requirements and different pip values it is very complicated to trade other instruments the EA can trade those instruments, but they are advanced. So don't go and jump in with the most advanced instruments in your first time. Conquer the Forex trading instruments, become an expert at them. Then it is very easy to move to gold or crypto or to the indexes very much easier. Don't jump in at the deep end and try and try and uh, trade those instruments treat the forex instruments as your tr training instruments they in themselves are highly profitable you don't actually need to move away from them they are much lower risk than the others so uh, in terms of trading instruments starting out master them and then move on to the more complicated most of the problems in the forums and in the support come from people that have just bought the instrument and are trying it on some exotic index or something like that very difficult to do that all right next point here is point seven which is account size and we do mention in the marketing page again um, uh, the marketing page is full of critical information the marketing page basically says that you should start with a ten thousand dollar account when trading forex now if you're going to trade indexes and metals and those kind of things you might need a much bigger account might need a twenty thousand dollar account but you need a sizable account now if you do not have ten thousand dollars lying around spare then you can use cent accounts and again the marketing page has great information on how you can access cent accounts and set them up and for hundred dollars what they what the cent account does he look it looks at the hundred dollars and says hey this is actually ten thousand cents we're going to allow the trader to use it as a ten thousand cent account and therefore it, it will trade as if, as if it's a ten thousand dollar account but it is very important that you stick to the account size requirements. Uh, that is what makes a profit retriever successful. Okay, the next point is leverage. We suggest that for forex trading instruments that you have a leverage of 
at least 100 to 1. A lot of brokers do not provide that kind of leverage uh, for legal purposes. And if you, for instance, can only get 50 to 1, it means two things. You either need to double your account or halve your lot sizing. Now, the lot sizing you will find is already very low, so that doesn't allow for that. So the next thing is that if the minimum requirement is $10,000, you need to start with a $20,000 account. Unfortunately, those requirements are very important for trading the profit retriever. Okay, so now we're getting into the interesting part. Now we're going to start talking about strategies. And point nine is decreasing lot strategy. Now I'm going to cover the next four points in one. So number nine is decreasing the lot strategy. Then uh, 10 is increasing a gap strategy. Then 11 is smallest lot sizing. And 12 is big gap sizing. So I'm going to cover those in one go. And to do that, I'm going to look at the settings side of the robot. Now on your screen, you can see the settings section of the Profit Retriever. And I'm going to focus on gap sizing and lot sizing. Those are the critical settings that you do have to get right. So let's have a look at the gap sizing element there. Now... I see the default is 10. That's very, very small. If you're starting out with a profit retriever, do not have gap sizing that is less than 30. Um, some, uh, if you are using very volatile currencies, we'll talk about them later, you can even use a gap sizing of 40 and 50. So don't go for small gap sizing. You, how it works is the bigger the gap size, the less risk. The smaller the gap size, the greater the risk. And if you add 10, it is extremely high risk. Okay, so let's say we're starting with a gap size of 30. And let's say, as you've seen in that illustration, let's say the price keeps on going against us. So what, what we've built in here is we have an ability to say, all right, do you want to increase or decrease the gap size when things start moving in the wrong direction so uh, it says it says here do you want to action this after let's say three gap levels have been experienced and let's i'm going to just go say two so i'm going to say after two gap levels have been experienced what you can do is and i'm going to stick with a percentage based scaling increase the gap size by 100 percent of what it was before. So if it was uh, 30, for, in for instance, it would then go to 36. And the next gap would go to 120% of 36 and so on and so on. So what you're doing, because gap sizing determines your risk, you are in uh, decreasing the risk by increasing the gap sizing on a continuous basis. So that's the one control that you have. Uh, and then the other if you don't like that way, you can use pips. So you could say, all right, there's 30. For for every level after two, I want to increase my uh, pips. So it will start looking at that setting there. I want to increase it by six. So, uh, so, so it will go to uh, 36, then to 42, then to 48, and so on, so on. So you can actually increase your gap sizing by a percentage or by a number of pips. You can also decrease the gap sizing. So for instance, if the gaps are 30, you can go to, let's say 25, 20 and so on, by just changing the percentage here, for instance, um, to um, 80% or so. So if you did it for 80%, uh, the next, the uh, gap sizing would go from 30 to 24 and down and down and so on. So, and then it will reach a minimum gap size. You can tell it, oh, the minimum gap size I want is most probably 12 and that type of thing. So that's how you can control the gap size because gap sizing is critical for risk control. The bigger the gap, the less risk, the smaller the gap, the, the greater the risk. Okay, so that covers gap sizing. And as I say, when you start out, don't go for small gaps. Don't, you see, what happens, a lot of people start out with a profit retriever, they select the most dangerous uh, instruments and they select the most dangerous 
capsizing and uh, they could also select the most dangerous strategies which is I'm going to, what I'm going to be moving on to right now. So now let's talk about the lot sizing strategies and here are the lot sizing strategies and they there are there are two lot sizing strategies allowed so so um your it's your initial strategy and then there's a follow-up strategy you don't have to have a follow-up strategy uh, the initial strategy can stand on its own and i'll just show you how the initial strategy works so basically what you would do is you'd say start with lot sizing and i'm going to say in this particular case i'm going to just say let's start with point one lots point one lots there we go and then after the first level now here it happens again what you can do is you can increase it or decrease it again by a percentage or or, or uh, by um by rate or by lots i'm going to go by the rate and uh, let's say we go if you leave the 100, 150 is increasing it so from 0 0.1 it would go to 0.15 and then so on and so on i do not recommend an increasing strategy initially so that is very dangerous so in, in other words you're just adding to your lots adding to your lots like becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and it is very easy to run out of margin if you start doing that kind of approach so i would always and what we found with the link service is that that is definitely not the way to go and all the linked accounts use the dec decreasing lots method which basically says let's say 80% so it would go from 0.1 to 0.08 and then 80% uh, of that number and 80% so it would decrease and decrease and increase until the target lots of let's say 0 0.01 so it will decrease 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 until it reaches that level and then it will just stay at that level at, at this point so so that shows you the decreasing uh, strategy and this is a strategy that i would recommend that you experiment with first and then you have an option to then in, in, uh, introduce a second strategy so what will happen is oh i've reached 0.01 now i can start do using a different strategy and and typically what a different strategy would be now you start increasing again so um the rate the rate you would use for, for instance could be um let's make it 120. so so now you're increasing that 0.01 uh, by 120 percent on an ongoing basis until you reach and let's go back to point one so so what we see here a decreasing strategy and then an increasing strategy and once it reaches point one it'll just keep on opening trades at point one but what this does is it it decreases risk initially and then increases risk but to the same level as risk was in the beginning so it's not really that dangerous as if you were to increase the risk initially that, that 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 would be very dangerous so those are the main settings of the profit retriever it is the strategy uh, and uh, gap sizing and again in terms of the strategy point one is a good starting point if you're using a ten thousand dollar account that would be a good starting point as you get more experienced in trading it you might want to increase that or you might want to decrease it depending on the results that you get but that strategy that i've put up there is a fairly robust strategy for you to test initially okay we're moving on quite nicely we've covered points uh, points nine decreasing lot strategy we've covered uh, point 10 increasing a gap strategy shown you that uh, i've also mentioned that you must use the smallest lot sizing initially and you must try and use the biggest gap sizing initially to reduce risk it is always good when trading a robot to go in trading the smallest risk initially it's actually converse to, to most traders. Most traders go in and trade the most riskiest strategies straight, straight off the bat using the most riskier instruments. You could always 
you could always adjust it upwards as you're going along. If you go with the riskiest, you might not have an account to adjust at all. Okay, so let's go on to the next point, and I'm going to actually skip the next one, and, and we'll go into the no, no manual intervention point first, because I want to talk about that. Essentially, the profit retriever trades with no stop. So in other words, it will continue trading the logic that I explained earlier until you either incur margin call or you go profitable. So that is the way it's designed to do, and a lot of traders are very really uncomfortable about that approach. They are used to having stops and trailing stops and all kinds of other things. It does not work with that way. That, and that is why you have to use the most conservative settings you possibly can. And never, never use manual intervention. Now, a lot of traders say, oh, I've lost 50% of my account. I'm going to close all the deals. That's the worst thing you can do because the whole philosophy of the profit retriever is um, the profit will rec recover that loss. Now, the minute you close the deals, you've taken the EA's power away from it and you've incurred a known loss. So when you start trading, whatever you do, Make sure you use the philosophy, I'm not going to manually intervene with this EA at all. Very, it's a very difficult concept for uh, traders to accept. Okay, now we're going to talk about uh, the next point, uh, 15, high drawdown. So, as you can see, the, the profit retriever has the p potential of running into high drawdowns. Now, if you use the most conservative settings, you won't, that won't happen very often, but it can happen. And you must prepare yourself mentally for that. The profit retriever will generate high drawdowns. And do not fight that concept. It's the same as the manual intervention. Don't fight it. That is the way it's designed to work. If you try to manage drawdowns, you are going to create a less effective profit retriever strategy so live with the drawdowns there will be times when you go into drawdown the drawdown might be big but you just have to stick with them and it will recover those drawdowns sometimes it takes a few days sometimes it takes a few weeks and i'll show you a few examples of that now on your screen you can see example of one of our linked accounts and it has done pretty well. It's generated 150% return over 165 days. A pretty good return. And the uh, balance has gone up quite nicely on a, on a very steady basis. But if you look at this balance line here, you'll see periods where the uh, account is in fact traded sideways. Like there's a period where uh, from the 22nd of September, it has traded sideways for until the 3rd of October, and then only did it start moving. So during though that sideways time, there it has been in drawdown. And if we add the equity line, so the account balance is the blue line, and that is the equity line. You can see there where that level part was, was where a drawdown was experienced. And the drawdown was quite big because it went from 16 to 11 or 12. And then it recovered and joined the, the, joined the, the, the balance again and went on like that. And what happened here is that, that the trader realized that the settings were too aggressive and uh, changed the settings. And therefore, you, uh, this size drawdown has never happened again with this particular account. So you must be prepared for those drawdowns. Don't fight them if this trader had cashed in or that at that point the trader would not have enjoyed the benefits of the recovery very important it's a very difficult psychological ea to trade because traders are used to closing deals or using stop losses to avoid their losses this particular system is incredible it does recover your losses and that's why it's called the profit retriever but but be prepared for big drawdowns and 
and be prepared for no manual intervention. Okay, combined strategies now. Um, I have already shown you that where you use the decreasing strategy and combine it with an increasing strategy and you can use variations of that and play around with them. But that uh, that is a good way to combine strategies uh, for the profit retriever. Okay, so now let's look go straight into the point 17, which is the currency types. Now, currency selection is critical for the profit retriever because you want to avoid currencies that are, have the tendency to tra trend dramatically for a long time because it can pull you down and create those drawdowns that you don't want to experience. So what you have to do is firstly look for currencies that, ha that don't have that tendency or currencies that have very wavy movements in their particular currency. So I'm going to just have a look at some of the currencies out there and give you an idea of what to look for. So on your screen, you can see some of my trading charts. And this is just a very general explanation about currency selection. But essentially, we want to look for currencies that have a wavy trading movement either sideways or upwards, but very wavy. So, for instance, the euro yen here has, can you see how wavy that particular movement is? It goes up, down, up, down, up, down. So that's a kind of currency you're looking for. Or even this one, the euro franc, pretty sideways. It's sideways, up and down, up and down, up and down. That's the kind of currency are you looking for? You want to stay away from currencies that have a steady downward uh, or, or upward movement. For instance, there's, there's a steady upward movement there. There's a steady downward movement. Although it is reasonably uh, wavy, it's, it's not as wavy as some of the others that we've seen. So, so essentially, you're looking for sideways currencies or currencies that are wavy, even if they are trending slightly, uh, they don't have these straight downward trends that um, that can be quite devastating uh, for the profit retriever. So currency selection is important. Stay away from those kind of currencies. Uh, you, you can see here the pound New Zealand has been pretty sideways there. That would have been a good phase. Even while it was trending, it was going up and down, up and down, up and down. So you need to look at the nature of the instrument that you're trading. Go and have a look at the charts. Actually pull the chart up and say, uh, uh, how would the profit retriever have done if you see a trend like the yen that just going straight down uh, it would have done badly if it was uh, going sideways like that with a lot of volatility uh, that might be a, a, a better currency just some ideas so don't be blind to currency selection go and have a look at the charts see what the movements are and uh, and select those kind of currencies also you can use our linked service again you can see which currencies are doing well and which ones aren't okay then we come to spreads now a lot of traders uh, go and select a currency they say oh no this currency meets my needs and all that type of thing but they then look at this they don't look at the spread but the spreads can be as high as nine pips or 12 pips for that particular currency they might be using a gap of 30 so they are giving away to the doc uh, to the broker uh a third of the earnings are on the on the trading whereas if you were using a currency that had a spread of let's say two or three uh, and your your gap was 30 you're only giving away 10% of your gains to the broker in terms of spreads so you've got to take the spreads into account and not choose currencies that are going to eat away your profits with high uh, uh, spreads that the broker basically gets and you lose out in terms of your profitability. Now I'm, I am jumping around on these points but we are going to now go point 20 which is know all the settings. Now I have basically already discussed a lot of the settings but you need to use the in conjunction with the user manual in conjunction with the marketing page review the settings and make sure you understand what the functionality is of each particular setting because although I've now given you some basic strategies you do need to know what you can change and do with the various settings. You can, for instance, reverse the direction of trade. Instead of buying 
and when the moving average is pointing up you can sell when the moving average is pointing up and you need to know all of those settings to get the best benefit from the profit retriever so so spend a bit of time it doesn't take long ten, within 10 minutes you can review all the settings in um, conjunction with the um, user manual or even conjunction with the um, marketing page or even just looking at the settings the descriptions are pretty good they tell you more or less what they do and as i said i'm going to skip a bit so i'm going right down to the most important settings and i've already mentioned that the most important settings in for risk management are the gap sizes and the lot sizes in terms of your initial lot size so what we find is the strategies that don't do well the only changes we need to do is increase the gap size and decrease the initial lot size that's it those are the two settings that are the most important settings for the profit retriever so it makes the profit retriever so easy to manage so if you're getting poor results just increase the gap size and decrease the lot sizing if you are getting really good results just keep the settings the same if you are getting good results with big drawdowns then again you would be advised to uh, increase your your gap size and decrease your initial lots because again although you're getting good results if your drawdowns are big it shows your risk exposure is too big and you need to reduce your risk exposure so the most important settings gap size and initial lot size it's, it is amazing that this ea is as simplified down to just controlling those two main settings okay so as i've mentioned i am jumping around and i'm going to uh, point 19 here talk about demo trading now when you purchase or are introduced to a, a new ea the most important thing to do is to demo trade it there are many reasons for that because uh, your understanding of the logic might be different to what you see in the results that you're getting there might be broker issues where your broker might have minimum lot sizing that don't agree with the strategies you're selecting there are so many benefits of of demo trading the main benefit of demo trading is actually to train you on how to use the ea how to change the settings if you're not achieving the results that you uh, want to do so be patient don't think you're buying the ea and plugging it in tomorrow demo trade as much as possible and when i say demo trade don't only trade one currency with one strategy my recommendation is is to trade as many as you physically are possible to uh, possible for you to do now just to give you an example i i am at currently trading 30 accounts at the same time on a demo basis to learn more of the subtleties of the various strategies and um, I don't expect you to do 30, but I do expect you to trade more than one. So five or 10 would be fantastic. Ideally, you should be trading them on separate demo accounts so that you can actually see the uh, results very clearly. If you uh, trade different uh, strategies on one demo account, the results of those strategies might be confusing because they'll um, sometimes you cannot see the actual profitability in spite of using uh, magic numbers you can't see the actual profitability of a strategy so i like using separate accounts now i'll show you a little bit about that and uh, as i say you you might uh, not need to do it to the extent that i do it but certainly i would suggest that you demo trade for at least three to four weeks before you introduce to a live environment now why why that because what i want you to do is test 10 strategies and out of the 10 you might find two that you really like or that are performed so really well with no with low drawdowns and you might want to use those particular strategies so you it's it's a really the best filtering process for live trading is to demo trade as many strategies before you trade live so let's have a look at what i'm doing at the moment 
So on your screen, you can see a uh, port, uh, FX Blue portfolio of, of 30 platforms that I'm currently using. So uh, there they are, and, and the 15 ones are more aggressive, so you'll see that their uh, drawdowns are a lot higher, and their, but their results can also be a little bit higher. The next group are more conservative, and the next group uh, even more conservative. And I can then use these demo accounts and change the settings. If, for instance, the drawdown is that big, I would change the settings severely. Uh, uh, there are few, and you can see it's mainly the, conser the aggressive ones. But uh, the less aggressive ones, you can see the drawdowns are already under control. These are the medium risk. They've got uh, drawdowns. I would go into those settings and, and lower the, the gap sizing and lower the lot sizing accordingly. And that way, I would learn how each currency responds to certain strategies. I might only have a decreasing strategy that I'm testing. I might have a decreasing and increasing strategy that I'm testing. I might have a gap trading strategy that I'm testing. So I'm always testing continuously on a demo basis to learn more and more about the profit retriever. But in the end, and th th this is still going, hasn't gone long enough for me to decide, I would most probably say, all right, there's a really good strategy, that one that's generated 12,900, maybe I should try that, maybe that 17,000 is a good strategy, let's go and see why it's working and so on. And then I would introduce those into my live account, not the ones that are uh, have these high drawdowns and negative equity and, 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 and that type of thing. So it gives you choice you can now say all right there's one i want to introduce to my life my live uh, portfolio and that's why i left that one point out um, of the list i wanted to talk about portfolios at a later stage and now is a good time to introduce portfolios and there they are i'm going to show you them trading some of them trading i'm not going to show you all 30 but i'll show you some of them trading away so here's an example of me testing uh, certain strategies on the uh, profit retriever and here are I think 20 of those 30 accounts that I showed you being traded and if you open them up you'll see that here is the profit retriever and I'm broadcasting it to FX Blue via the publisher and uh, I can basically go in and see the the settings that I'm using here, um, there's the 30 that I mentioned, there's the, uh, this is a pip base scaling, I'm increasing the, the pips by 2 when it goes uh, negative 3 times, and I'm starting with 0.5 as my opening lot, I'm in decreasing it by 80%, up until that point and then when it hits that point I'm increasing it by 130 percent until it reaches that point again so again not rocket science then I'm saying close uh, the it, it, when, when you run into a negative deal phase close it when you're 20 dollars up so those are the main settings for the uh, this particular setting I'm trading it in the same direction as the moving average I'm allowing buy and sell so the the, the profit retriever is actually very easy and I've explained most of the settings as you can see them there and this particular um, one hasn't done too, uh, it, it has a balance of 15,000 so we've banked 5,000 uh, in profit and it has equity of 12 so there is a small draw, drawdown happening right now and we can see uh, you can see there was a period of drawdown it, it was selling into an uptrend but it eventually closed at a profit and there it was uh, it was selling into a downtrend and it actually made a lot of profit over there and so on and so on and, and at the moment there's another selling into an uptrend and it's it, it uh, closed at a profit so it takes a, a, a certain amount and here we're buying into a downtrend and there is the break-even line so we're waiting for the price to come up it will either go down further and that line will follow faster and eventually that line will meet up with the price and that will resolve that drawdown so uh, uh, the profit retrieval takes a lot of patience you can see there's a lot of transactions that were opened and it took a long time for it to come down but you have to trust the nature of the forex market okay so that's the um, 
uh, those are the demo accounts that I'm trading and I'm, I'm saying you should do that too uh, and also it, it gives me the chance to select accounts for my live trading. Now one more word about portfolios and why I stress that you shouldn't trade one account only, you should be creating portfolios and here is a portfolio of the linked accounts since they started trading and you can see there are some linked accounts with huge drawdowns, 12,000, 12,000 down there, 3,000, 5,000. So there, there are quite a few drawdowns. But if we go and have a look at the results of this particular portfolio, you'll see that this particular portfolio is incredibly profitable. Look at the closed profits of 432,000, whereas the floating profits of 55,000. Now, when it comes to portfolio trading, what I'm basically saying, now you must listen to this because this summarizes the benefits of portfolio trading. It means that even if that from that list that you just saw, let's say five of those accounts blow, in other words, they blow. They are all they have all been started with ten thousand dollars. So you will have lost fifty thousand dollars out of that those accounts that have blown. Yet your profits are four hundred and thirty two. So even the blown accounts will not impact this portfolio. So portfolio trading allows you the ability to have a couple of blown accounts and yet to be very very profitable what i'm saying are words and you don't you will not appreciate that until you've actually traded a wide portfolio of accounts trading the profit retriever then only will you realize that the profits made by the profit retriever eat up any blown accounts very very easily so that is the third risk management tool that you should be using you should plan to trade large portfolios of the profit retriever if you don't have that amount of money then certainly use cent accounts initially okay so let's go back to the list that i've got i've just decided told you about the big portfolio you need a big portfolio of demo accounts to trade to learn how the EA works why it fails sometimes and why it succeeds the other times and it's so easy failures you just increase the the gap size and the, uh, decrease the lot size uh, what else have we combined we've spoken about that no all settings experiment again you need to the demo accounts allow you to experiment with different strategies and experimentation is the name of the game. Even once you have your live portfolio, keep on running those demo accounts in the background, experiment with different strategies, experiment with, with buy and sell strategies, um, buy one account, sell another account, and see how that works out, and so on and so on. So you can really experiment a lot, but the basic profit retriever is a very robust. Then linked account strategies. Now I'm going to show you a few um, of those and um, uh, yeah, maybe I should do that right now. Okay, here's our link service where you can link to successful robot traders. I've got a few accounts there. There are a lot of other successful robot traders that have accounts listed on this particular service. And if we go down to it, I'm not. Uh, there's the list of uh, linkable accounts that you can link your account to so they are trading for instance the profit retriever there's some other eas being traded but the profit retriever is by far the most robust and successful ea that we have and what you can now do is you can say oh okay uh, let's 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 just take anyone at random um let's take link 12 and there's link 12 you can see it's had draw uh, drawdown periods there um let's see if we can actually add you can see it in the earlier in its life it had drawdowns uh, it was corrected quite nice it had a drawdown there and must be corrected you can see the the equity and the balance st stuck together quite nicely so the the trader uh 
actually learns from the experience and improves the results. You can see at the moment there are there is no drawdown. In, in fact, this one is in a positive drawdown. It should actually cash in at uh, any moment. And it's done a 210% return so far in the, let's see how many days, 120, 112 days that it's been trading. Pretty effective. All right, so now, uh, so firstly, in the link service, you can actually see the fantastic results achieved by the profit retriever. But you, now, how do we know what's going on here? So what we do is we go to the order section, and you can see there's only one order that's open at the moment. But we, we don't want to see the open. We want to see the closed orders. And there are all the closed orders that we have. And what you do... To find out what the strategy is, and we can we can um, just look at the greens here. It looks like this strategy uses a gap of about 30 pips. There's 30, that's about 30, that's about 30, 30, 30. Uh, sometimes it's bigger because of the negative. Uh, but on the whole, the first thing that I can see is that this strategy uses a 30 pip gap. Good information to have. It might even be bigger. It might be 34, uh, 34 pips, but it's more or less 30 to 34 pips. So already we've gathered some information from just looking at the closed trades. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort by, by close date and, uh, and we're going to go down and find a lot of reds. In fact, that was it. All right, here's, here's a section where we had a drawdown and then a a positive uh, element so let's have a look at what happened we said that the um, the gaps are more or less 30 let's see uh, that was 20 uh, that was 40 yeah it's it's more or less 30 more or less 30 are the gaps if you look at the differences as we go along and then here's where i see the strategy so yeah, I can read the strategy. I can say, oh, this this strategy started with 0.8. It then decreased it by 80%. So it's 80%, 80% decrease by 80% until it reached until it reached 0.1. So it went from 0.8 to 0.1, decreasing at 80%. And then it started increasing, and it looks like either 120 or 130 percent 130 130 and then can you see the strategy how how you can read and then it went back to 0.8 and then it stopped but then the 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 price curled back and the total of all of that ended up positive so can you see from looking at our the link service i can work out firstly the gaps that we used and that's the most important thing and i can also work out the lot sizing strategy that was used so that's how you make use of the link service to find out which strategies work and which ones don't and to see the strategies in action Okay, we're almost finished. We've now hit the uh, most important settings I've discussed already. Uh, we've uh, spoken about the linked account strategies, how you can see them, but more importantly, you can see evidence of the profit retriever working very successfully in the linked service. In fact, let me go, let me just flip back to that. And if we look at these returns, and uh, I think this side is the most probably the most important one. These are monthly gains, monthly gains, and you can see some have monthly gains of two hundred percent, one hundred percent, seventy percent, even twenty-five, even down here. Those are magnificent monthly gains. <laughs> it's just really really good and then if you look at the overall gains 600 percent uh 200 uh, percent you know huge gains made by the profit retriever so if you want some uh, inspiration come and have a look at the result that the linked uh, services is providing and also go and have a look at the strategies of each particular account that is linkable there Okay, now the next point is optimize settings. So uh, what I want to do is I'll quickly show you there are free optimized settings and let's go and have a look at how you find them. 
Okay, so uh, we're back on the expertforex.com website. We say we come here to up to date robot results and settings. You click on that link there, and here we provide monthly up to date optimized settings for all of our robots. And we then look at this list for the profit retriever. We click on the profit retriever, um, and you can see there are same direction settings and reverse direction settings i'm just going to click on the same direction settings and here you can see some really good results uh, ignore uh, the um, loss making ones because the test must probably won't run correctly but um, here are some fantastic results that you can go and have a look at and what are what we provide are the actual set files for these this might sound strange, but I do not recommend these optimized settings. I would recommend the settings that I've shown you today and rather using the settings used by the link service. The optimized settings are like jackpot numbers. It's almost like saying if I take last week's jackpot number and I take a ticket over the same settings that I should do quite well, uh, the linked service results are proven traded results and i would put more value into them but if you want to come and have a look at those settings and then if you go down here it actually tells you the settings that we use the moving average uh, settings the uh, lots initial lot sizing the uh, gap sizing and all those kind of settings are disclosed at the bottom here and then just one last point, the uh, paid forum, the premium forum has a specific, a specific section for the profit retriever as well as a discussion section where the profit retriever settings and results are discussed um, in a lot of detail. Um, those aren't critical to your success. I think if you followed all the points that I've mentioned before, you should be do, you should do quite well. Now, this has been a long video and I must apologize for that, but all of the items that I've mentioned in the video are critical to your success as a profit retriever trader. Uh, please go through each of the points that I've mentioned again. Make sure that you are doing them. There are no shortcuts. If you miss one or two of those points, it could be detrimental to your trading results. So go through each of those points, make sure that you are doing those activities that I recommend, and uh, especially the testing, demo testing side of things, and that is the way you do it. You demo test and then you put into live the settings that you believe are best suited for your particular broker. If you do have any further questions, please raise them in the YouTube comment section or in the various forums or at an extreme, please contact support for an answer on your question. So from me, Alex Aploy, cheerio.